What's up everybody, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Bullet. Man, what a jerk. Come on man, I'm over here filming. Oh yeah, I'll watch your bike for you. <laughs> How's that for watching your bike? What's up everybody, my name is Scott. You're watching Kentucky Ballistics and it's Full Auto Friday. And for the YouTube employee reviewing this video, just for your information, if you haven't looked in the description, I'm a trained professional. We're back out on the private shooting range in a controlled environment, 200 yards of it to be exact. And today we're gonna revisit the motorcycle, but instead of using the 50 cal, today we're gonna use the CMMG 458 SOCOM, which is full auto. Should be a lot of fun, but real quick, I wanna tell you about today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Acre Gold. I get really excited about this because a lot of people want to invest in gold, but it's kind of expensive. Acre Gold takes care of that. They have a subscription service where you pay 50 bucks a month, and once you build up enough money, they send you a 2.5 gram gold bar discreetly to your house. This is designed in California and minted in Switzerland. I think it's a really cool subscription service and a super easy way to start investing in gold. They even have plans as low as $30 a month, and you can always cancel your subscription. If this is something you're interested in, make sure you use my link in the description down below. Okay, so I've got the Honda Shadow 750 set up again, and this time I have it at an angle. That way, if we do have a ricochet come off the motor, it's not gonna come back at us. It's gonna go that way into a berm. And I also have the CMMG MKW15 chambered in 458 SOCOM. Let's let her rip. Tell you what, let's shoot it one time and just see what happens before we go full auto. Okay, I think we're gonna be all right. Let's let her rip. Oh my goodness. That motor does not know it just hit it. Let's hit it with one more mag. I tell you what, I got one more mag, but let's go check that out first. Yeah, that thing is getting chewed up. We tore up the motor through there. I see some new damage. Oh my goodness, right there for sure. Jeez. Any new holes out the other side? No new holes, but got a little bit of smoke going on. All right, I know I said I had one more mag, but actually I had two more mags. Wow, just wow. One more. <laughs> All right, well, that's gonna be it. Okay, well, we definitely did some more damage that time. Looks like right down there, there's a new hole in the motor and we've got us a little bit of smoke. There's some new holes. We chewed it up pretty good. Hmm. Still does not look like we made it through the other side though, which I'm kind of surprised. Hey, I forgot to mention earlier, don't forget to check out my 4th of July shirt. This is on sale this month and all of July. And then after that, they're gone. Maybe if you guys really like them, I'm probably gonna keep them around. But for now, it's a one-time thing. So be sure and check those out. There's a link in the description down below. I was pretty impressed with the motorcycle again today. In the last video, we shot it with a 50 and it stopped a few of those, but it ate all of the rifle rounds and all the pistol rounds. And today it withstood full auto 458 SOCOM. So if you were using a motorcycle for cover, it seems like it would stop most things, at least if you were behind the motor, the tank and all that other stuff. That's a whole other story. What did you think about today's video? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you're following me on Patreon, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics and I'll see you next time.